moments, dramatizing moments that weren't like encapsulated in a yeah. couple of seconds. Like there's a fantastic moment in Ray where someone goes, Ray, don't mix blues and gospel. No one's ever done that before. <laughs> like that, as if they're two chemicals, <laughs> you know, and it's going to be an explosion, a rock and roll explosion, yeah, a rhythm what, and blues the blast. Fa the fantastic moment in the Doors when he composes uh, Light, my fire. Light My Fire. Uh, biopics are usually fantastically funny, but the problem with Ray is it's not it's, it's not that funny. I know they should work that. Either they should go completely mental on the cliches, yeah. or they should just do mad conjecture about their exactly, lives. You know what exactly. Exactly. I mean? Like the, the Hours in the Times. Did you ever see that? That was about uh, a meeting between John Lennon, John Lennon and Brian Epstein, and their sort of homosexual relationship. Yeah, but pure conjecture. But it was yeah. really interesting. It is brilliant, that amazing. Film. Or classic moment in the Beach Boys documentary, uh, not documentary, but biopic. I think it's called Summer Dreams, where they're stood out and someone says, uh, hey, how you doing? Yeah, pretty good. You know, I've been having a lot of fun, 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 but <laughs> soon my daddy's gonna take my T-bird <laughs> away. And Brian That's Wilson goes, the worst. wait, let's get into the studio right now! That's how it happened, man. There, there are a couple of good scenes in Ray. There's a good scene in Ray. Uh, Ray sort of reminds you that in the old days, when bands recorded records, they used to, the whole band would go into a room, and they'd go one, two, three, and then they'd play it. And at the end, they'd have finished the whole record. And that the quality of a record depended on the atmosphere in the room in a three-minute period, which probably doesn't happen anymore. Some really. bands still do it like that. More do and they? more. Yeah. Well, good. I think that's a good thing. Is that, is that it? <laughs> that was your point. Um, we've got Ditties in the Dock coming up very shortly and it's uh, it's a jack-off. It's a Michael Jackson <laughs> playoff because, of course, next week marks the official end of his career, so we decided we'd get a Can't Michael Jackson that. record out. Did you not read the memo? I did read the memo. We're basically not allowed to talk about Jacko at all. Dear all, says the memo, as I'm sure you know, it's the start of the Michael Jackson trial this Monday. A massive story. Even though this is happening in America, in America, it's important that you are clear that our regulatory experts, uh, that a, our uh, regulator expects us. Sorry, I can't even read to treat this court case in the same way as any trial happening here, were fair and balanced. He did it. He didn't do it. To this end, please do not make ad hoc. Oh, joke hoc. So we're going to have to. It's going to be tough to get through Ditties in the Dot without making any Jacko jokes. Yeah, especially ad hoc Jacko jokes. Uh, yeah, crikey. it's weird. Don't you think? I don't know. I don't know if this counts. I hope this is not an ad hoc Jacko comment. But it's weird that uh, it's absolutely not a problem to play Michael Jackson music. Somehow the music transcends any rubbish that's going on in his life in a way that Gary Glitter music doesn't really. Yes. About about the Glitter Man. Yeah, that's true. But it's a nice thing, I think. Anyway, we'll be back very shortly with Ditties in the Dark, and, uh, here's the doors. No, it's not the doors, it's, it's, uh, uh, the cars. I knew it was- Pull yourself together, I knew Boston. it was some object or item. Right, we'd better be quick with this, because we've only got 15 minutes. It's, uh, time for Ditties in the Dock. Joe and I are battling it out for who gets to play the final song of our show here on XFM. And today, it's a battle between two Michael Jackson classics. Uh, Joe, do you want to go first, or shall I? Why not? I'll go first. I think I'll go first. Okay, you okay, go first. Okay, well, it's obviously tricky picking a, a Michael Jackson track, because they're all so fantastic. Uh, and it's hard to pick a sort of interesting and obscure one, because there aren't any. Uh, so, I've decided to choose The Girl Is Mine, his fantastic duet with Paul McCartney. Uh, if you don't remember it, it goes, uh, it's a beautiful song, isn't it, Adam? The girl is mine. I don't understand the way you think, saying that she's yours, not mine. Like that. Very nice. And then it's got the fantastic spoken passage, uh, in the middle, of course. Michael, we're not gonna fight about this, okay? Paul, I think I told you, I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> yeah, but that's exactly what's got you into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, steady. <laughs> anyway, you, so the girl is the mine. The girl, if you want to hear Michael Jackson with The Girl Is Mine, there's a wonderful song to sing along to. If you're with someone today, you can, you know, act it out between you. Otherwise, it'll just make you feel very happy. And maybe if you're involved in a violent struggle over a woman, it could clear things up. 0871 222 1049 to hear The Girl Is Mine. And it is versus, what's your choice, Ed? Well, my choice is a stone classic. It's a floor filler. In all my years of DJing at parties, bar mitzvahs <laughs> and weddings, I rely on this track to fill any floor, no matter how tough the crowd. It's I Want You Back by the Jackson 5. Do, 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 do. Uh, it, it, that's the way it goes. And it's an amazing song. I'm sure you're all familiar with it. I don't need to remind you too much about it. I Want You Back versus The Girl Is Mine. That's the choice today. One on more Ditties motivation. 
Uh, everyone who calls, everyone who gets on air wins either a copy of The Village on DVD or Mark Rowland's fascinating book, Everything I Know I Learned from TV, which is a philosophy book with philosophy explained through popular television programs. 0871 222 1049. I want you back or the girl is mine. That's all you have to vote for. I like that one. That's Crafty from New Order. That's a new song from the New Order yeah. combo. And now it is the final playoff of this week's Ditties in the Dock. It's a Michael Jackson off to uh, commemorate the potential end of his career beginning next week. Uh, a last chance to play a Michael Jackson track. We've got five callers on the line. It is The Girl Is Mine versus I Want You Back. Yeah. Yeah, so let's go to Rory. Hello, Rory. Hello. How are you doing, Rory? I'm fine. I'm dandy. Well done. Congratulations for getting through. You win either a copy of the Philosophy Book or The Village on DVD. Everyone's going to go for the DVD, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah? Come can't, on, we can't must they not have, have both. Some. There's not enough. Well, no, there's not enough to give them both. Someone's got to go for the Philosophy Book. You, is it just philosophy in there? Read, well, read yeah, a random but, bit. Uh, a random bit. Palmer, however, demurs. The execution of innocent children is, despite his flirtation with utilitarianism, apparently not his bag at all. Come on, that sounds like good times in there. That's uh, an, a, a chapter all about 24, the TV series 24, Ooh. and all the philosoph philosoph <laughs> philosophical issues <laughs> that <laughs> it uh, uh, has in yeah, it. Oh, oh, Christmas Day. Day. Rory, hello, are you still listening? Uh, yeah, just about. So, is it, is it, the, <laughs> is it the DVD? You um, want, mate? Well, I, actually, no, I think I'll go for the book. Ooh, you're a clever one. Classy. There you go. Very good, Rory. And what, and what are you voting for? Is it I Want You Back or The Girl Is Mine? Well, I want I Want You Back. Mm. Of course you do, because you know that it's going to make you start shaking your booty. That's one nil to Buxton. Thanks, Rory. On line two is Trevor. Hello, Trevor. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. Uh, are you clever or stupid? <laughs> <laughs> Tough one. You're a chef. You are, <laughs> well, you're clever, <laughs> but you're very tired at the end of the day and you want to just relax with the DVD, right? Yeah, the book sounds a bit boring. Oh, the book's good, man. The book's great. I'm uh, going to nip the book. The book may well be better than the film. It's probably got better ratings than the film anyway. Yeah, so you want a copy of The Village? Yeah, might as well. There you go, you got it. And what are you voting for? Is it going to be I Want You Back or The Girl Is Mine? The Girl Is Mine. <gasps> it's one all. Funny. Sorry, mate? It just sounds odd. Have you, do you know the song? No, I don't know. I haven't heard what? It's quite a famous song. Oh, it's a fantastic song. It is good. I just heard it. They're queuing it up because we don't. Oh, you heard it. it. We don't know. Um, it's well, with what's going on, really, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you know, let's not talk about it. <laughs> Thank you very much for calling, Trevor. That's one all uh, between the two Jacko tracks. Kay is on line three. Hello, Kay. Hi, yeah. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Philosophy or sort of random historical rubbish for you? Um, I'll go for the book. The book. Everyone's so clever. It is a good book. Mark Rowland's Everything I Know I Learned from TV. Yeah. Subtitled, uh, Philosophy for the Unrepentant Couch Potato. It's good stuff. Yeah. There you go. So you're getting that. And what are you voting for, Kay? Which Jacko Tracker? I want you back. Yeah. Wow, it's 2 1 for Buxton. Oh, that's an extraordinary result. Thanks for calling, Kay. Uh, we've got Jason on line four. Hello, Jason. Hello, mate. Uh, what are you up to, Jason? Uh, just a bit of chopping out. Bit of chopping out. <laughs> <laughs> Are you killing people? Are you chopping up your wife? Um, no, I'm chopping out a, a wolf. A wolf? You're chopping up a wolf? A wolf! <laughs> a wolf. Chopping out. Oh, right. For, uh, for, for electrics. Oh. Really? Hey, that's... Exciting stuff. Are you an electrician or are you just randomly chopping? No, I'm, I'm in my own house. Oh, okay. And oh, do you know what you're good. doing or are you going to kill yourself? Of he's okay. just chopping until he gets a shot. <laughs> it's what he does for kicks. <laughs> randomly stabbing his finger into the wall. Chop shocks. <laughs> Jason, do you want a twisty film or do you want a slightly interesting boring, book? Interesting book. Uh, it's got to be the DVD. Well done. Have you seen The Village, Jason? I haven't, no. It's, it's not bad. I'm not a big fan of M. Night Shyamalan, but The Village is uh, probably one of the better <laughs> ones. The, although the twist is... It's a good watch. Uh, so what are you going to vote for? Uh, the girl is mine. Oh. That brings it level pegging. Makes it so exciting. Thanks, Jason. Good luck with the electrics. That is two all. So this is the deciding vote. The final call from Steve is the deciding vote. Hello, Steve. Hello. Are, are you conscious of the momentousness of, of your decision? Yeah, it's very tense. I've been listening. It's very tense. It is. Very, well, there's been a tense <laughs> atmosphere throughout the whole show, not just in Ditties in the Dock. 
the sort of yeah. tension that comes when you don't know what you're, what you're gonna say or what you're doing, <laughs> or how to operate the machinery. <laughs> um, what are you doing, uh, what are you up to today, Steve? Uh, I've just finished washing my car and hoovering it out. I've just, uh, taken it for the car wash. Did you find anything surprising in your car when you cleaned it out? Anything you'd forgotten about? Yeah, um... Any I'll money? A lot of old tapes, bit of money, mm. uh, loads of rubbish on the floor. Yeah. Food. Yeah. Well, I've uh, got to clean out my car. a lot better. Good, well done. Oh, that'll be a lovely drive the rest of the week. Yeah, that's right. Uh, until you start spilling stuff on it again. <laughs> so what would you like? Would you like, uh, the Swillage or the Burke? Um, it'll have to go with the DVD, I think. Well done, the DVD. Yeah, let's go with the DVD. Is it a double disc? No, oh, it isn't. Good. It's sounds got good. four deleted scenes. Oh, amazing. Oh. And it's got one of M. Night Shawaddy Waddy's home movies, which are always dreadful, but he always yeah. sticks one on every DVD. That sounds good. You're yeah, really selling it there, man. Well done. Thanks, mate. Uh, so, let's see. What's this gonna be? What are you uh, going to vote for? I'm going to have to go for The Girl Is Mine. No! Oh, I can't believe Cornish it! wins! I thought I had it nailed with I Want You Back. Oh, people have heard it too much. It's, it's overplayed. The Girl Is Mine is a forgotten classic. Oh. Well done, Steve. You're so clever and good looking. Look at your legs. They're so strong. Thanks for calling, Steve. Hello, this is Adam and Joe on XFM with you for the next two hours. We're going to have uh, Crap Commentary Corner this afternoon. Uh, we'll be giving away Anchorman DVDs. Uh, what else are we doing, Adam? Well, shall I play my introductory jingle? Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. That sounds interesting, let's talk about it. I always enjoy our little chats. I never know what you'll say. Did you see the children in the brat camp? Do you think the parents are to blame? I'm not sure about that new TV show. Will you text me that great new ringtone? I just love it and it makes me laugh I'm not sure about that new TV show That sounds interesting, let's talk about it Let's start talking now Oh, that's exciting. Isn't it? All the things we could cover. All the things we could cover. I'd like to talk about that new TV show. Which? Uh, that one? Yeah, the one that was on last night. Oh, the Friday Night Project. Yeah, but I've got a new rule not to be rude about anybody else in the industry. When did you make that rule up? A couple of weeks ago. <laughs> you did not make it up a couple of weeks ago. You were rude about people last weekend. Was I? Who was I rude about? Uh, people who write for Empire Magazine. Yeah, but they're not really in, in our industry. Well, they're in an I industry. I wasn't rude about them. I just said I violently disagreed with their opinions on the life aquatic. Did you... So I can't talk about the Friday Night Project. Did you have a run-in with someone that made you, uh, think, rethink? Or did you just have a soul-searching moment? Uh, no, I just imagined what it would feel like if someone was talking about me critically on the radio. And did that happen? Did you get some criticism? Nope. That hurt you? Nope. Did you see someone on the internet? No. Did you get a nasty text? No. Did you get a nasty email? No. When I'm just trying to better myself, you know. Yeah, I just, I'm just curious about the epiphany. Yeah. So can't talk about the Friday Night Project. Uh... Um, except to say that it was terrific. Right, I'm going to talk about it, though, later on. Okay. Why, why can't you talk about it? That's ludicrous behaviour. You can talk about it in a completely, uh, rational way. Because I know pretty way. much everybody involved, apart from... That's okay. Them. You don't have to be horrible about them personally. Everyone I don't was, know Vinny. Everyone was doing their best. But you can still talk about the final product. Anyway, I think we should address the Friday Night Project later on, seeing as okay. it's a big new Channel 4 show, and it's, uh... Excuse me. ...kind of an exciting well, thing, I'm in gonna a way. be very pro it. Because that's something that's good to do, isn't it? One of us is pro something, the other one is con, and then you get a balanced opinion. I'm going to be very pro it, but well, I'd like to say now I'm lying. How do you know? Oh, right, okay. Mm. Well, I'm going to be very pro it as well. You know, I found some of it very enjoyable. Uh, the, the ending part. Anyway, we'll talk about that later on. Also, uh, I presume that we won't be talking about the new series of 24 because you're not a fan, but I, oh, I started watching that this week. That was great. Two-hour episode last Sunday evening. It was like being, having a lovely warm bath after six months in a coal mine. It was amazing. I think you're missing out, man. You should get in on the 24 action. Mm. And you didn't see Wife Swap this week, did you by any chance? Missed Wife Swap, no. Do you usually watch that? Uh, I used to in the first couple of series, but now I don't anymore. Drifting off? Yeah. I never usually watch it, you see. I caught it for the first time this week. But I tell you what, they were talking about it on a rival radio station, so I heard them talking about it. What were they saying? Uh, I don't know, going on about... Oh, well, it was to do with posh people being filthy. Uh, can I mention another radio station, Lila? Yeah, go on. Okay, but, uh, but no, what's it called? It used to be called GLR, Radio London. John Gaunt in the morning. He's a very sort of, uh, irritating... You love Gaunt. Actually, I do love Gaunt. He winds me up in the morning. He was going on about posh people, middle, middle class liberals being dirtier than working class people. Because it had, did it have a posh wife and a sort of working class wife and the posh wife was filthy, mucky, dirty. 
Oh, well, she wasn't very posh. That's what Gaunty thought. No, <laughs> well, but maybe for Gaunty she was posh, but, um, not in my book. And I don't consider myself that posh. Anyway, I'd like to talk about, um, you know, wife swap a bit later on. And as Joe mentioned, of course, we do have those exciting competitions and a lot of good prizes to give away this week as well. Terrific prizes. You know, I'm gonna be t I'm gonna be talking about the Sundance Film Festival. Are you? Yeah. Oh. Because that's happened and there's some hot titles there. Uh, yeah, a big quick conversation. Brat Camp I would like to talk about. <laughs>